How's it going everyone? This is Just Lord with just another top 10 on my Sega Genesis Black Top, I mean Black Boxes games. On my number 10 I got Alien Storm. This was a great game uh, as for, with the Black Box in the Black Box era. Uh, me and my brothers, we used to play this a lot. Um, I used to love <clears throat> that it was a co-op game. I played it in the arcade but to get it home and nearly look arcade perfect but did look like the arcade this was a good one right here if you haven't played Alien Storm try to pick it up it's a good game right here now I'm gonna move on I got my number nine. Oh yeah this is gonna be a good one uh, my number nine game is um Garrus man this was a shooter right here this was a good shooter um, what was different about this shooter um, you had your uh, whatever this little pod thing instead of they giving you power-ups this little pod thing was actually you could attach it on to the enemies that you threw it on and you would get their powers from them and it will upgrade your powers and you can keep throwing it doesn't matter what kind of enemy you would get an upgrade man definitely one of the great games great shooters on the um, Genesis one of my favorite Garius pick that up if you uh, could get it you see move on to my number eight I got Revenge of Shinobi I'm sure this is on many people's top tens great music great sound effects uh, remember when you got up to like it was like a boss where it was the Terminator Batman the Spider-Man or you know versions of them but you knew what it was I mean I, that was amazing to me in this game this was a classic uh, Shinobi game as well one of the better games on the Genesis, if not the best on the Genesis. Um, you know, we really made a turn here once we got to the 16-bit era about different type of gameplays. Shinobi Revenge, pick that up if you can get it. Number seven uh, is Dick Tracy. This is one that's probably not on too many people's lists, but it's on mine because this is one of the black boxes that I had. And I used to play this with, uh, pretty often. Um, I like the gameplay with the you know the two planes of field. You're shooting the people across the street, you're trying to shoot the people in front of you. I remember it was like the driving level where you're doing the same thing. This was a good game right here, um, especially after seeing the movie and then picking up the game. You know, this was a good game. This is that back when movie games were actually not that bad. Um, Dick Tracy, if you haven't played it, pick this up. Got my number six here, uh, Quack Shot. Uh, during the uh, during the um seg the Sega era, Disney was really really good with making games for the, um the Genesis. I mean, they got a lot of classics on the Genesis, and Quack Shot is definitely one of them. This is one I played often with my family, brothers, all we all like this game. One I still come back to to today, um, as being a good game right here. Donald Duck, Quack Shot, you know, pick this up. He going around the globe looking for treasure, doing what he got to do, you know. Pick this up, Quack Shot, another good game for the Tega Genesis. I uh, got my number five, which is Batman. And I know by another YouTuber, Sega Lord S, this is his favorite. So, I mean, he's the one who got me into wanting to do these videos. So, I'll let that shout out to Sega Lord X. But, um, yeah, Batman was definitely a great game for me. Um, I loved it on the NES, so once you you get a Batman that looks like Batman, the graphics was up to par. Of course, it was amazing when you were a little kid and you seeing these type of graphics, you know, moving up from the NES, you know, to a 16-bit. So, you know, if you could get Batman, pick that up. That's another classic out there. Got my number four, which is Sonic the Hedgehog. I remember when I got this, uh, my older brother bought this home. He was playing it, and I believe me and my younger brother just watched him play it all the way through and couldn't wait to get our turn. Um, yeah, this is another classic. I never really compared this to Mario. I mean, it was always be like a number two to me, but Sonic was definitely the only mascot that gave Mario a real run for his money. Um, but this was definitely a classic on the Genesis right here. That's why it's on my list. Sonic the Hedgehog. Classic. Pick it up. Got my number three. Another Disney game, Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. What can't be said about this game? Great graphics, 
great music, great everything with uh, Castle of Illusion. This might be, for me, this was a 10, because I played this a lot. And this is definitely one of the Disney, another Disney game that Disney could do no wrong at this point on making games for the Genesis. They were ahead of their times, and I'll, I'll recommend this to anybody who wants a platformer that's actually good. Um, get that Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. Classic game here. Um, my number two. Oh, I remember this. Ghouls and Ghosts. I used to play this in the arcade. Never made it anywhere in the arcade. Used to steal all my quarters. But this was a classic right here. And when once I got it home, I already knew what to expect from it from playing this on the NES. So I already knew you had to go back through it once you beat it. So I was already prepared for that. Good thing that this is a short one. It's not as long or as hard as uh, the NES version. Um, NES Ghosts and Goblins. But uh, if you haven't played Ghouls and Ghosts, pick it up. Um, definitely a classic. And I'm going to my number one game, which is another arcade game. This is Strider. Um, another game in my household that we all played and all loved was Strider. This is definitely, my, at the time, my black box game. This is definitely my number one. I'll definitely, there is definitely way more black box games that I would love to add. I'll probably do a hidden gems with that and add the rest. But this is definitely one of the black, the top black black box games that I had and that, that I love. And this is what this is why he's my guy in Marvel vs. Capcom. So um, definitely a classic right here with uh, Strider. Make sure y'all like and sub sub subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll make more videos if you like this. So uh, you know. Talk to y'all later.